So it's not what you think. In fact, it's what you believe in what you see that may be impacting your life, your body, your, your spirit, your mind, your soul. It's affecting all of us. And if you're watching this and you can relate, stick around because I'm going to tell you what I have found and what I've done for myself. So right now, there's a lot of information overload. A lot. <laughs> it's so much so that I found myself not only scrolling through, but, but watching uh, too many other things, too many videos. Like it had no meaning, no meaning, no sense. Just Just trying to pass time, you know, just vegging out. How about that? And that has been a habit for many years, many years. So what has happened is that a couple of months ago, I took a, a, a friend of mine, uh, re led me to uh, this person who is a coach and a mentor for big companies. And he was talking about uh, some book about the brain. Um, and then Dr. Romy, uh, in fact, let me look up her name here, Dr. Romy Mushtak. So just look up Dr. Romy. Her book is called The Busy Brain Cure. The Busy Brain Cure. So look it up. Because when I heard that, I went and got the book. I read it. And boy, did it open up my eyes a little bit further. You know how it is. When you're seeking, you're going to find. Well, I knew I was seeking. So a couple of months ago, I guess it opened up for me to have this opportunity and find this. And there's a test that she has. And in this test, when I took it, it put me on the very high risk of burnout. Actually, not even that. I was already in burnout. Completely to melt down. Okay. Um, anything be in her score in, on this test, and you'll find it through the book, and it's absolutely free. Um, when you take it, anything below 60%, I believe, is 60% and below or 40% and below, you're pretty much, you're good to go. Anything above 50% or higher, you're in danger. Well, heck, <laughs> I'm in danger. Two months ago, I stopped, and I thought, okay, wait a minute. What can I do to make things better? Now, just a little bit about my, myself. So as a sales consultant, I work from home. So I'm remote. I'm always in front of my MacBook. I'm always in front of the, the iPhone here. This I'm actually shooting this on the iPhone 15. And so I'm always in virtual meetings, virtual events, Zoom meetings, and, and so forth. So how do I cut down on all this noise. Plus, by the way, um, I've been working from home uh, remote since 2012. Wow, that's a long time. So my routine is, is usually I have to leave the house to feel better. So I have a, a gym that I go to and that's my Zen place. Uh, so I'm not regular, okay? I, I don't. I sometimes when I need to, when I need to build my body and transform it, I take three months and I go practically five days a week. So and I start eating all this good stuff. But when I'm not, you know, I just go two, three times a week. So I want to tell you that because I went online two months ago after doing this. I went online and I started thinking. Who else has this problem and what are they doing about it? So I scroll through YouTube and there was um, a lot of videos that seemed to have the idea that you need to get some sort of different phones, um, uh, like the light phone. Um, you need to get uh, the back to the flip phones and so many, so many ideas. OK, and then other things. We're uh, managing time and, and, and doing some extra curriculum out there so that you're not hooked and connected to, to the matrix, <laughs> okay? Unplug and, and be intentional about living life. Well, I got to the point where I'm thinking, I, I almost believed about the phone thing because I thought, oh man, I need to go and get me a flip phone and how do I switch? How do I 
go back and, you know, how do you do that? But here is what I found. I found that they seem to be complicating things. Now, the idea is out there. There was this, a few guy, a few individuals, uh, this one guy, I, I just finished watching his episodes and I'll put his name somewhere here so, so you'll know and you can go see because I thought he made the best case um, out of his attempt to go minimal on all this technology. And, uh, and I think you'll like it. So somewhere here, you'll see his name. But basically, it was almost like you had to let go of a lot of things, <laughs> uh, including the, the typing, going back to a typewriter. So anyway, point is, he got me thinking like, okay, wait a minute. I am from the era, the 1900s era, as my, uh, my friends call it now. We make fun of that. We're, we're part of the 1900 crew. Um, I remember that back then we had the dumb phones, not smartphones. This was way before the iPhone came on the scene. We had the Blackberry. That was the most advanced that we had. But before then, it was the flip phones, the dump phones, the brick phones, uh, the pagers with messaging, two-way messaging pagers. And I started thinking, well, what did I do back then? Uh, back then, I was in the fitness industry, sales and marketing in the fitness industry and training. It was fun. Well, what did I do? And I remember I had to go either to the library to use the internet or I had to wait to get home to use my computer and dive into the internet um, to watch YouTube. When YouTube came out, I remember I had to log into my computer, my, my, my computer back then, I think it was a Windows. And, and, and it just kept going. I, I just started thinking, well, that's what I was doing. And so I guess my attention was more of being out and about and Sure, I had phone calls, phone conversations, but then I thought, well, how did I meet people over the phone? Well, conference calls. Remember conference calls? Like literally, you dial a number and you join the conference call. So that started happening. I thought, okay, I get it. And then regular text messaging started happening. And then the email, of course, that was for more longer communication via the internet or through email um news you had to i had to go and turn the tv on to to watch news if i had the time or if i remember if, if i wanted to i never really did but i had to be watching tv to get the news um, and anything on the newspapers uh sometimes through emails i will find latest news okay so what happened is that technology came through and now we have all this information in front of us fast. In seconds, we can connect with people throughout the world. We can find out what's happening throughout the world, which is obviously you and I know this is a very interesting, hard world to live in when you see what's going on around the world. So you have access to that in seconds um, and everybody wants your attention because the algorithms, that's why the big companies, the social media companies, they have these algorithms to keep your attention, right? So everybody's fighting for your attention. And what I've seen, people outside are still, now more than ever, are still doing this. They sit down at the coffee shops in front of their phones right across each other and they're looking at their phones, they're looking at their pads, the iPads or the tablets or the computer. It's, it's incredible. So I fell for all of that. So how can I undo it? Okay, I'm going to keep it simple. I thought, oh man, you know, I don't want to switch and what do I do and this and that. Like all these complicated things, you know, I felt that there's, they're, they're so complicated. You have to do too many things to, to make it work. I just realized, I said, wait a minute. If there's a way that I can actually just focus on what I need, I truly need, 
um, as, a, as a career professional in sales and marketing that I do need access to the digital world, how can I do it in a minimal way? Well, two weeks ago, I went back to the iPhone SE. And the cool thing about this iPhone SE is that I have uh, put a new battery on it. So it goes up to 100%. It lasts me pretty much all day. I, I don't have to charge it maybe through the night, but I still have plenty of charge if I needed to. And I went minimalist. Yeah, here we go. So there's this app called Blank. So you can download that app and you can pretty much put it this way. So everything here, when I press on it, it just takes me to exactly what I need which is text calls group, which is the, um, uh, it's a telegram basically, because I need access to international access, right? Um, maps, calendar, contacts, and my podcast. And that's pretty much it. So what has happened these past couple of weeks, what I found myself noticing is that I'm not busy. I don't feel overwhelmed and busy, busy, busy. Like I don't feel like, in fact, me doing this video makes me think, huh, <laughs> I took the time to do, to do this video. I wasn't planning on it, but I felt the need to do it. And I'm thinking after this, I, I'm just going to go hang out. <laughs> so, but hear me out. You can simplify things. Okay. Um, it took me two weeks to realize that there's less noise in my mind and in my world. Um, I don't go on, uh, let me let me say this. I don't have social media on my iPhone anymore, but I do go to LinkedIn and in LinkedIn, I have caught myself scrolling. It's, it's addictive. But in LinkedIn is for the professional communication mainly, but I have found myself scrolling. So I have to keep working at it. Um, on X, I will, or Twitter, as you know it, um, I will go there, but that's the one that I'm completely like, I'm done <laughs> with it. Um, I, in fact, I think just yesterday I went to go see what was going on. And again, I started scrolling and I'm like, oh, let me stop. And I just stopped. So, so it, again, those things are not on my phone because this is the iPhone SE, the latest and the only uh, up to version 15 iOS 15 that's the uh, that's the one that goes up up to so I can pretty much uh, download a lot of the apps that I don't use I, I didn't miss them all right so that's one way the other way was that I started reading more okay so um, instead of looking at my phone I will pick up my Kindle and um and i have it in uh night mode okay so like this in night mode and pretty much man this this works wonders um especially if you pick up and read the bible by the way uh i was actually reading i think timothy yeah timothy timothy 3 was i reading i was reading last night and it'll put you to sleep <laughs> okay and also um on the on the podcast besides the podcast I do have audiobooks here, and one or two audiobooks are pretty much meditation type of uh, uh, books. Uh, one of them, I'll tell you what they are because maybe you may be interested in it. So one of them is, see, it's super slow, by the way. To get into the apps is slow. That's another thing I noticed uh, with the iPhone 15. I mean, I would just click, boom, done, and like there, pop, 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 like really, really fast. Here, I have to wait for the app to load. Okay, I think that's another thing to uh, to, to be aware of, the waiting part. Um, okay, so I have two. One of them is Craig Beck Hypnosis. Um, yeah, he's he's pretty cool guy, and the way he sounds and he does the hypnos hypnosis stuff. It's pretty neat. Uh, so that's a book that I'm listening to. And then I'm listening to The Alchemist. That's an incredible book. I recommend it. It's very encouraging. And the story is just is so awesome to, to listen to the story. Um, and that also relaxes me. But another one is a meditation for breaking the habit of being yourself. That comes from the book of breaking the habit of being yourself. That's the book. Uh, by Dr. Joe 
dispensa get that book or get the audiobook and then he has a meditation um book or audio on on here on the book uh, audible anyway so those are the ones that i use so that's what i've done so pretty simple and then i i if i need to get online i have to open my macbook i have to turn it on i have to go and look at my finances my banking my youtube videos if i wanted to um everything everything i have to get in here so this is mainly for i have even maps here so uh, mainly to make sure that i check my calendar that i check my messages and make calls um, other than that the only entertainment here would be podcast and the audible and that's it simple all right so don't overcomplicate things i want to leave you with this when you disconnect from this world disconnect from the noise it there's you just will feel better give it a shot you will feel better however it's going to be difficult if you are addicted to it so when I was looking through the videos, I did not hear of a professional career driven uh, individual. I didn't see a video about them. How do they manage their professional daily life? Um, I heard more of the content creators, the ones that are making lots of videos and that's what they do on a daily basis. Uh, and I've heard also of um, uh, uh, music uh, artists, I guess, people that are like DJing and stuff like that. So I have heard on, in those areas, but not so much with what I do. So I hope that this gives you an inspiration or guides you in the right direction to make a choice if you are in the same type of career lifestyle like I have. Um, so I want you to remember, if you look back to this video, I started with, it's not what you think, but it's what you believe in what you see. And that's what's going to happen. That's how you're going to reach your inner truth. All of us, we have an inner truth and you've got to reach for that, but it's going to take what you believe in what you see so when you pick up the bible when you pick up positive information for self-development when you when you listen to meditation when you produce and you are in front of good information or better yet you're walking around outside you're looking at the trees you're listening to what's out there you're being present in the moment you're what you see is what you'll start to believe and that's going to give you that strength to reach your inner truth and the truth will set you free all right first video tell me what you guys think um, any insights as to what you're doing to reduce the noise of the technology world out there um, and also, what do you do to bring peace in your heart? Let me know. I'm curious. And also, let me know if you like this type of video. Because, boy, do I have a lot to share with you. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Peace.